we're going to take a look at the LDAP integration now. Okay, so we're going to first of all, we're going to jump to the fault server. We need to edit the host file, host file. So we go to Notepad, run as administrator, click yes. Okay, we're going to go to file, open. Path we're going to go to is Windows System32 Drivers ETC. Then we're going to go to to all files, click on host, click OK. We've got our details on the side here. We're going to control C and control V. We're going to save this. We're going to close that. We're going to close that. We don't need that anymore. Our certificate. We're going to install the certificate. We're going to click on local machine. Click next. Place it in the directory. Browse, trusted root, click OK, click Next, finish, and OK, and that's done. Then we're going to jump to the DC. We need to create some users. I've created an organizational unit here. So we're going to first we're going to create the user for the for the site for the bind account. Control paste that, paste it in there. We're going to go next. We're going to say password never expires and we're going to put in a password four tabs password four next finish okay click on that we're going to go properties member of add domain domain admins going to admin set as primary we're going to remove that yes click apply click ok now then we're going to create the groups first group we're going to do is cyborg auditors v click ok i'm going to use the cyborg users new group control v click ok and vault admins control c right click new group OK, then we're going to create our test user. So we go to new and we go to users again. Control V, Control V, next. We can tick that. We can tick password never expires. Password four tabs. Password four. Next. Finish. There's our users done. You're going to now go to properties of the test user, modify, add. We're going to go cyber. I'm going to select all the groups for this user. This is our test user. We need to give them all the rights that we want during this test. Click OK and done. Now we jump to the PVWA. We're going to go to administration. Right click on that, we can go to LDAP and you'll see there's no LDAP directory, nothing in there. So we can go to cancel. Now we're going to go to the top, we're going to click on the wizard. This is the old way, there is a new way of doing it as well, which is through here. We're going to do it the old way for tonight. Click next. We're going to click, type in DC01, and we're going to type the address dc01.cyberarc.lan. And we're going to our bind user, which is from our DC, which is cyberarc bind. So we're going to change that there to cyberarc dash bind to as in our password is password four again now here we're going to go dc equals cyber arc comma dc equals lan this is our this is our dc server this is the fully qualified domain name we're just using the domain details in here which is dc.lan. So it's going to be cyber dc equals cyber 
arc, comma DC equals LAN. I'm going to go test. And we're successful. Click OK. Now we change this to the port number to 363. 636 test. And successful. Click OK. Click Save and Continue. Okay, now we're going to go cyber. And we're going to choose Vault Admins. Cyber Auditors. And we're going to go cyber. And users. And we're going to click finish. Okay, there we go. We go to LDAP, integration, DC, we see our mappings there. And that's LDAP integration done. You can now log out, sign out. Waiting for it to update. And log in as a with the LDAP and user account. And we're going to go test one, tabs, password one, enter. Ah, wrong password. Password four, enter. Nope. I'm going to say never. There we go. Last log. Go. Here's our bind account details. System health. All the machines are up and running. Okay. We can go to accounts. We can see the accounts that are created. Okay. And that is it.